Welcome back guys, my Tom Films Project Integra. So as you just saw from that clip, that was basically what the back roads look like around me. Um, that's kind of what I want to start to do with this channel. You know, I got the engine done, I have the, the suspension done, or partially done I guess you could say. I have tires, I still need brakes and rotors and all that good stuff, but you know, those are the kind of videos I would like to do. Yeah, it was shaky, yeah, the run was sloppy, but that was my first time ever even attempting full throttle on that course. And I've only been on there on that road for like maybe three or four times. So it's not really something you can go really fast in, but I feel like something like that, videos like that, I feel like you guys would enjoy because I enjoy filming them as well. So, you know, you guys probably remember, I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, there was a guy out here on YouTube called Hey Productions. And um, he kind of stopped doing that. And I was kind of, uh, I was kind of upset by that because that was actually really cool. Nobody else on YouTube really does that. And uh, I mean, I see why, because not everybody has mountains around them, but you know, those kind of videos I find entertaining. So I figured, you know, maybe I should try that on my channel since, you know, track days aren't really going to be around here until maybe 2018. Um, one thing you guys don't realize is uh, track days are kind of expensive. Uh, you got guys like LA Tommy LA who, um, you know, go to VTech Club. And VTech Club's like not really an HPDE event. Uh, HPDE is more like a instructor based. So you have an instructor, you have a passenger seat, kind of guide you around the track, and all that stuff. You know, what he's doing is kind of like, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Maybe just a regular track day. I don't know. But it's a lot cheaper. And for me, track days cost somewhere between three to $400 for like one or two days. And, you know, that's. It's kind of expensive, <laughs> so, and I have to drive like almost two hours to go to either Summit Point or New Jersey Motorsports Parkway. So, I mean, I can't do that too often, so I figured maybe I should try something else where it doesn't cost me as much money. All right, now time to get to the Q&A. So, the first question was, need beats? And I'm guessing he's talking about music. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, you can go ahead and send it to my email. Next question is, did you decide on a paint color yet? Also, congrats on hitting 10k subscribers. Uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna stay white. Most people wanna see my car stay white, so... Yeah, I mean, it only makes sense to just stay white. If you did go YouTube Famous and made it your only job, what would you mainly post about? So, if I actually, you know, somehow managed to hit 100,000 subscribers within a reasonable time frame, I'd probably buy a shop and just do straight build videos and track videos only on this channel. Next question is, if I gave you unlimited money to buy as many Integras as you want, but only Integras, how many would you have and how would they be set up? So I think I'd only have maybe three or four Integras. The one I'm building right now, a J-Series Integra, a Honda Integra Type R, DC2 from Japan, and the four-wheel drive Integra sedan. Next question says, when's the next track day? So I'm buying like a lot of stuff within the next month or two. Maybe you can see a video in October, November on a track day, but that track day won't take place at some point. It'll probably be up in New Jersey because New Jersey track days are only like $200. Next question from the same person is, what are your plans for the winter and after winter? So uh, for the winter, honestly, I'm just going to be working on the interior and exterior of the car. Uh, so basically cosmetics, safety, equipment, uh, plan on buying harnesses, roll bar, painting the interior one solid color, uh, carpet, um, painting the exterior, getting it, you know, professionally painted this time. Uh, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Next question says, if you could only own five cars for the rest of your life, what would they be? Alright, so this is kind of a tricky question because you know, I like a lot of cars, but if I can only own five for the rest of my life, first one would definitely have to be, you know, a bright yellow 2003 Lamborghini Murcielago. That was like the first car I fell in love with uh, from Need for Speed High Pursuit 2 on the PC. Uh, next car would definitely have to be a Honda Integra DC2, again, from Japan. Uh, third would have to be, uh, whew, maybe a R34 GTR. I know, sorry, I'm a GTR fanboy. Fourth would have to be a Nissan Silvia S15. Fifth would have to be an Acura TSX. It's random, but you know, you figure you have all those nice cars, you gotta have a daily, right? So the daily would be the TSX. Next question says, are you ever gonna get a livery or a livery? I don't know how to pronounce that. Is it livery or livery? I don't know. Uh, would I ever get that? Um, 
I mean, if I ever start actually competing in some sort of organization and I was sponsored, then yeah, I'd run it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have to if, you know, they give you X amount of dollars or you sign X and Y and Z contract. But honestly, I think it would look nice to have something custom done. Next question says, should I build the Type R or just keep it OEM? Well, if you mean build as in strip everything out and turn it into a race car, no. Uh, I'd keep it OEM, especially if it's uh, Acura Integra. Next question says, would you get an Evo if you had the funds? Do I look like Zaj to you? Next question would be, fakey sticker? Is that really a question? Come on, Zach, it's, that's not a question. Next question says, do you like RX-7s as track cars, AKA grip racing, not drag racing? Um, I mean, I like the looks of RX-7s, but many people told me that those engines are not very reliable. But then again, if this is a track car, I mean, yeah, I, I, yeah. Next question says, would you ever buy another Integra and go a different route with it? Uh, so I do plan on buying uh, or actually importing uh, Integra Type R later when they become, you know, legal for import. Uh, but I don't really plan on doing anything to it. I just want to, I just want to import it, kind of restore it and basically use it as a daily or possibly, you know, just have it in my possession for years to come. Next question is, what is the sequence to bleed brakes for DA and DC and what's next for the build? Uh, so for bleeding your brakes, I actually did a video on that. Uh, if you go back, I started like from the front, I think it was front left to rear right to front right to rear left. Um, but you know, if you uh, search for um, my uh, track prep videos, I uh, bled the brakes so you can just watch that. And what's next for the build? The next thing I plan to buy for this car, like immediately when I have the funds for it, is a roll bar because the roll bars are really hard to come by and they're not cheap. Uh, what made you decide on going with a B18C1 with a B16 head? What times do you expect at the track? I don't do drag racing if that's what you're expecting. Uh, I'm not a big drag racing guy. I do enjoy watching drag racing, don't get me wrong, but me personally, I just don't like it. Um, I went with the B18C1 with the B16 head because I wanted, you know, a Type R-ish engine. Uh, I wanted to keep it relatively stock so I could learn on the base and kind of mod as I want to, you know, gain power in the future. So that's kind of why I did it that way. Next question is, why do you souk? Would you consider a lighter shell, EK9 or EG6, maybe a CRX? Uh, yeah, um, so one of the things for this channel was I was going to finish this car and, you know, I was going to do another car once I get a shop. Uh, so the next car I'm going to do after this, if you guys have been watching me for a while, was I was going to build, you know, uh, a really, really fast uh, EK. So I wanted to buy a white EK and basically put whatever engine in I can and just see how much horsepower I can get out of it and just make the... The, the fastest, you know, uh, hatchback in the East Coast or whatever. Something to compare or something to challenge Boosted Boy, something like that. I don't know. But I definitely want to build a drag EK one day and it's going to happen. Uh, do you plan to do some body work before respraying the DC4? Yeah, my car needs some serious body work. I messed up a lot, but you know, like I said, if you guys remember what I said way long ago, all I really cared about was making my car look nice in pictures and it worked. So. Uh, I do need to do a lot of body work, and uh, once I do it, car's getting painted. All right, so that was very long. I'm probably gonna cut some of that out because I uh, dragged that on for way too long. Looks like we're at uh, 13 minutes now, so I gotta cut that down somehow. Now we're gonna get into the giveaways. All right, so if you stuck around for the entire video, you actually deserve to get some free stuff, or at least the chance to. All right, so since you stuck around to the end of the video, here's the giveaway. So I have a lot of stuff here from Aux Bean that they gave me and you know, I figured why not just give it away because I don't need all this stuff. So first up we have Aux Bean hat. Um, I don't wear hats like that, so that's why I gave, I'm giving it away. They actually gave me a shirt as well, but I got silicone on the shirt and it's not coming off, so that's why I'm not wearing it in this video. But here's the hat if you wanna win it. Um, I'll say what you gotta type in the comments if you want to win the hat. Next up we have the Aux Beam F16s I believe. These are just bright whites. 
I did a I did an unboxing and a review on these uh, some time ago, but they're just white and uh, oh, almost dropped it. And um, I mean they look pretty cool, and I only used them like once or twice. So yeah, if you want these, I'm giving them away. Next up, we have the Auxbeam FM B2s, I believe. Now these are my favorite. These are still in the box because they gave me these um, a while ago, and I never bothered to open them because. I already knew I was going to give these away when I hit 10k, so here you go, FMB2s, these are the kinds that uh, turn white, and if you turn the headlights off and turn them back on, they turn like an orange fog light color, so these, if you win these, you're set. And lastly, I have a bunch of aux beam stickers right here, I believe I only have seven, let me count them real quick, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. So that's everything I'm giving away. Uh, if you want to win any of this stuff right here, all you got to do is leave a comment down below uh, and make sure it's in all caps. If it's not in all caps, you're not entered in the giveaway. Also, if you stuck around all the way to this point right here, I'm going to let you know that I am selling stickers now. So the first three, or actually, you know what? Yeah, the first three are going to be giveaways. So if you comment in all caps, like I said before, you're entered in the giveaway for any of this stuff. You can't choose what you want, just to give it away to whoever. Um, so the, this is the sticker right here. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's a transfer sticker, so everything kind of just peels off. There's no background to it. Um, I think it's a pretty cool design. It was actually made by Fresh and Boosted. He made the car, he, you know, that's basically all he did, and he made my background for my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check him out on Instagram. Uh, but that is what I'm going to be selling from now on. The stickers are five dollars. The shop opens up right when this video is dropped. So go to mytomfilms.bigcartel.com, pick up your sticker. It's a pre-order. I do not have the stickers yet. I'm gonna have the stickers made. So if you want a sticker, you will get a sticker. But if you don't want a sticker, then you don't get a sticker. So. That's the video guys, thank you for 10,000 subscribers, we got a lot to come, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.